Hey guys, what's up? Stage Creator here, back with another video. Today I want to show you some custom slash fix-ups that I've made recently and yeah, give you a better look than you would see on Instagram. So let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about the head swaps here. I did a head swap with Alexa Bliss, her first basic figure onto the Elite 53 Alexa Bliss. Uh, just to make it more uh, current day Alexa Bliss with her hair down instead of the Harley Quinn look that she had like two years ago. So yeah, made it more current. Also, I got this new entrance grace Robbie Roode and I head swapped it with the basic uh, 65, I believe. And it looks really awesome. Way better than the one that came with the entrance grates. Over here too, I did a... Well, I did a bit more than a head swap on this Randy Orton here. Let's have a better look. So, I did a head swap. I think I'm the first one to do this head swap. Just to make him look more current day. Because he has this uh, hairstyle now. A bit shorter on the sides. More like a fade. But this is the Wrestlemania... I believe 33 figure and it was missing like the brown details and stuff so I kind of added it as you can see here I mean I'm not the best customizer or anything but I tried my best so I added the brown stuff I also added the um, he has this new black like line or writing on the side so I just added that there and the skulls, they never, like, I'm not a real artist, guys, but, um, oh, I'm, I do stages, but not figures. I'm pretty crap at figures, but I just added these lines on his shoulders, it's like, because he has skulls coming onto, like, kind of his chest area, and they never include that. And he had this, like, yellow wristband there. So, yeah, quick little fix-up with that figure. Also got these two custom Roman Reigns figures. My friend... Uh, DVRs on Instagram uh, did these for me. Uh, basically, I bought the Elite on oh no, a basic 75 or 74, and all the Roman Reigns Elites, uh, they all have, uh, they're all missing detail of the tattoo there. So, the basic 74 figure is the only one that ever got it right. So, I wanted to make it, I wanted to put it on a, an Elite, and so I bought two and uh, got my friend to torso crack it and put that on. And then these attires here, as you can see, the red one and the uh, gold one, I got these decals from Custom Stomp, Curb Stomp City uh, decals and on Instagram and... They just stick on, you cut them out and you stick them on and you just paint the rest, as you can see there. And yeah, it looks really cool. I'm really happy with these figures. Last two were both made by DVRs. Basically, he took a shield body and I think he took like APA arms, Bradshaw, I believe, or maybe just swapped the hands, I'm not too sure. And he put a Kurt Angle head on that, so that's his TLC attire when he teamed up with the shield. And this is Eugene. If you don't know who Eugene is, he was big in 2004-2005. He was uh, Eric Bischoff's retarded uh, nephew. That's basically his character. And I, I really liked Eugene. His character was so like funny and cool. And yeah, came he gave me this cool uh, jacket. I used to have a Eugene figure, but I wrecked it and I lost the jacket. So I'm really glad to have this. Basically, it's a uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan body with the head swapped and the Jax jacket. And yeah, really cool figures. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you thought of this video and which one is your favorite custom fix-up. Thank you. Hey guys, get all your WWE figures from walkoutwear.com. They offer some awesome figures. All the figures that I use are from walkoutwear.com. You guys can use discount code STAGES, save you 16% on all purchases.